So, in reference to the Omaha Hip Hop Awards, as you can see here, from the launch of the date of our launch, we launched um, in the middle of October. And as you can see, <clears throat> the traffic has steadily gone up as far as the sessions. We can also see, see here the bounce rate, the average session duration, uh, the percentage of new sessions that we actually get, and we also see the returning visitors and the new traffic. So as you see, these two numbers correlate. So in reference to the video that we dropped, we're going to check the Spotify numbers to see the actual single numbers. So we'll click on here and we'll see the streams in the last seven days on Spotify. And if you go here, we've had a total of 110 streams in the last seven days alone. And here is the little histogram that shows the activity. So as you can see here, these are daily streams for one record. See, on uh, November 8th, we had 26, then we dipped back down to 8, back up to 23, so on and so forth. This gives us an idea of our normal t traffic. Now, this is um, without any marketing. This is without any um, push whatsoever. This is just residual streams that occur on a normal basis um, throughout the business cycle without direct marketing for any sort of specific project. So let's see what is actually being streamed. If you come down here, you actually have a list of the actual top tracks that are being streamed. And you can see the title, and you can see the artist name, and the total number of streams. So we scroll down, we see, let's look at the top three. J-Rock, J-Rock, and L Genius. On uh, the past seven days, those are the top three songs that are being streamed right now from um, from my account on CD Baby. Also, in reference to the business operations, we just launched a video yet yesterday called "I Want You." <clears throat> and we launched it yesterday around noon and as you can see here as far as the analytics it's really not that great but we can still see and come in and see see we don't have the activity to show because it takes two to three days to get the analytics for the recent videos but we do have the option to see the real-time reporting and now when we drop the video as you can see here, we had one view, eight views, one view, one view, two views, and three estimated views. And these are in real time in the last 48 hours. So this is before we actually launched the actual marketing campaign. This is just dropping on my social networking sites, which isn't really a good tool to launch a full marketing, which is why we need the sponsored views through Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and all other websites as far as social media so we can get these views up to be where we want them to be. Thank you. So the last thing I want to show you guys is how the Omaha Hip Hop Awards uses data to um, make decision making. <clears throat> right here is the home page to the survey. Um, the survey that we put out um, that actually chooses the winners is um, it's about 30 questions long. Um, in the 2014-2015 Omaha Hip Hop Awards, we had a total of 1,856 respondents. So these are all their emails. First, you have to put in an email in order to take the survey. So as you can see, we gathered 1,800 emails for marketing purposes. As you scroll down, you can see some of the categories and some of the actual results here. Let's go to the, the best female R&B category. As you can see, 1,571 people answered the survey. 
And you can see the winners of this final voting process right here in the bar, the bar charts. But you can also see the numbers as far as what they did. So she received 21% of the vote with 338 votes. So as we scroll down, we're going to look more as in-depth into what I gather as far as information. Not only do I want to know who they want to vote for, I want to know who they are that is actually voting. So we're going to scroll all the way down here. It's kind of at the bottom. But we'll go. Scroll all the way to the bottom here. And you can see... We're nearing the end, <clears throat> and I ask more personal questions. It's a lot. Just bear with me. Okay, so right here, we we ask questions like this: How professional is the Omaha Hip Hop Awards to gauge a customer satisfaction? of what people actually think of us. And so as you can see, about a thousand people or more rated us positively. And very few people actually rated us negative. Only 1.15% of the respondents actually rated us not professional. We go here and we look at the importance of the awards and how important it is actually to, to the community and the voters and the people who actually take place, uh, take part in it. As you can see, it's very positive as well. Only about 4.3% of the respondents feel that our product is not important and about 96% feel it is either extremely important, very important, moderately important, or slightly important. So let's go down here to even more specific. We actually ask questions, comments, and concerns of the individuals. So you can actually write in information as far as what you would like to see change, uh, what's going good, etc. So let's scroll all the way back up to the top here and I'm going to show you another survey real quick. <clears throat> so this is the current survey that's up right now and this is the nomination process. So let's scroll uh, once again all the way down to the bottom for the nomination process and I'll show you more in depth of what we gather as far as our demographic information. Okay, so we get to here and we ask for the gender. So right now currently in this um, nomination process we have 42 respondents 52.38 percent of them are male 47.6 percent of them are female um, we have eight uh, 50 percent is r roughly african-american with the rest being uh, caucasian american indian asian or multiple races we also look at the age of who our top respondents are so as you can see, the 25 to 34 and the 18 to 24 range is primarily our, our target. But what's interesting here is you can actually see here how likely is it that you would recommend the Omaha Hip Hop Awards to a friend or colleague. And this NPS score uh, gives you an indication of what the attitude of people are. So you have right here promoters, passives, and detractors. And as you can see, we got a score of 13. So in between nine, uh, excuse me, in between nine to ten, is pr promoters. So we actually have a score of thirteen. So that means that our score is high as far as people who actually will talk and tell other people about the event. And as far as the detractors, about thirty-three, about thirty percent of people won't. So with that being said, I'm going to close out the video. Thank you so much for your time. And I hope that what I had to say and what I had to show you actually gave you some insight into how data analytics is used into the day-to-day -day business in a small independent music label. Thank you so much.